so thrilled that you're here with us this morning. As you can see, there is unlimited energy behind me and in front of me right now, and they are so excited to perform for you this morning. I'm just going to take one moment to share a few things with you before we begin. Uh, since Grandparents Day only happens every two years, I want to share some of the things that have happened at our school in just the last two years. So in the last two years, we've started a band, we've added leg robotics, we've added Destination Imagination, which is a creative problem-solving venture for our boys. We've added sports, we've added cross country and track and golf, and this spring we're gonna add tennis to our, to our offerings in sports. We've also changed our academic program to include lots of STEAM initiatives. Now this is science, technology, engineering, arts, and math all working together, and our boys have our hands on and their minds on as they work to create things in their classrooms. Maybe some of you attended our Makers Fair, which was brand new last year, where the boys made things and shared them with each other and their families. Our boys are reading more books than they ever have in the past. And we strengthen our relationships with MUS and right here at 2PC, our two key partners. We've also paid off $7 million of debt in the last two years, which we're really excited for. And that's right. And we've added, we've added new money to our endowment for the first time in 20 years. And all of this we've been able to do while keeping our tuition increases the lowest in the history of PDS. Now, grandparents, I know a lot of you I've heard help with tuition, and I really, we really appreciate and thank you for that. We really do. We've also been working on three strategic initiatives here at school. These are the things that are propelling us into the future. And we've been working on honoring and celebrating our teachers, our greatest resource here at, here at PDS. And I wonder, you're gonna get a chance to see their classrooms today in just a little bit, but would you mind taking a moment and thanking our wonderful teachers with me? We're also working on a program we call Young Scholars. These are boys around our town that could really benefit from a great PDS education, but maybe need a little bit of extra help. And we've been working with families to stand beside these families to help them uh, create an even more diverse and wonderful school here in Memphis. The last thing we've been working on is our, our character education and spiritual education program we call Building Boys Making Men and we're working on even uh, making that program stronger in our younger grades and uh, seeing how we might be able to share this great information with students around our city and our country to um, help character be an important part about what young people learn. And I think you would agree with me that's something that we need to make sure we're teaching our boys. So it takes gifts from lots of people. I know many of you have uh, been part of our annual giving program, and I certainly appreciate that. And those who might want to know more information, you're more than happy, uh, more than welcome to talk with me, and I'd be happy to tell you more. So thank you. We want to thank you for being here. I also want to show you, share with you this uh, Grand Opportunities program that you received when you came in. It's our plan to produce this quarterly to uh, share with you, grandparents, uh, all the things that are going on at school. Never be shy about coming to school for anything, for programs, for lunch, for sports. We'd love to have you here. And now, without further ado, the thing that you've all been waiting for, our program for Grandparents Day. Thanks for being here. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for assembling us together this morning as many different families, as one family, yours. We thank you for each person here this morning, for the boys of PDS, for our teachers and coaches, for our parents and grandparents who love and support us unconditionally. We especially thank you for our grandparents. Thank you for the love they shower upon us, the wisdom they share with us, and the example they set for us. Thank you for their sacrifices for us, 
and for our country. We thank you for this country, where we can worship you freely, where we can extend equality and justice to all of our citizens. We give you thanks for the men and women who have built and shaped this country, both of those with us today and those who have passed before. Never let us forget their sacrifices, their courage, their conviction. Open our eyes, we pray, to a vision of what freedom and equality look like today, just as you did for our forefathers. Grant us the courage to defend all that is noble and just, the way so many of our grandparents did. Equip us, boys, we pray, to be leaders with a heart for you. Guide, protect, and strengthen us during these important years. Be a light to us and to our families during difficult days, and remind daily of your promise and peace. Finally, bless this school that it might continue to raise up a generation of men to do your work and spread your good news. Amen. My fellow PDS students, join me in welcoming you to Grandparents Day. We thank you for joining us, but more importantly, we thank you for your love and influence in our lives. We hope that you enjoy our program.
You are though more than just our grandparents. You are the heroes of our country. You have given us a country with the freedom to worship God, the freedom to carve out our own livelihood, the freedom to build a society that is fair and just, and the freedom to build a government that is of the people, by the people, and for the people. You have sacrificed and fought to preserve and extend these freedoms and to defend our country. You have stormed the beaches and spread freedom around the world. We stand on your shoulders today and we see a land that is prosperous and generous, a land of hope and love and promise. We learn the symbols of freedom from our parents and teachers. Symbols like the Statue of Liberty, the flag, and the Pledge of Allegiance. It is an honor for us to say the Pledge of Allegiance and a privilege to have our grandparents join us as we now say the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States. Please stand and uh, place your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.
please be seated. Those who first came to America's shores knew that here, unlike any other place on earth, was opportunity, possibility, and hope for those willing to take a chance. America became a symbol of freedom throughout the world.
whatever their reasons for coming. The early immigrants understood the value and necessity of hard work to achieve the dream of a better life. Many came with wanting the clothes on their back and a fierce determination to succeed. Few spoke English or had any money, but most found what they were looking for, the chance to become an American. We have come from all over the world and settled across America to all 50 states. Although we are united in our values and beliefs, each state has its own individual qualities which make it distinct and original. The state flag reflects the heritage and represents freedom for all. John 15, 13 says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. We honor all Americans who served our great nation, either in the military or in public service, our policemen, firemen, and so many others who so bravely and selflessly keep us safe.
We have come from all over the world and sailed across America to all 50 states. We as a nation have created and adopted many symbols, songs, and stories that express who we are and what we believe in. One of the oldest and best loved songs is Yankee Doodle. This fun song reflects our heritage and represents freedom for all.
In the upcoming years, you will turn this country over to us. It will be our turn to defend and protect, to advance freedom and equality and justice. As we stand before you and sing to you this morning, I tell you that we, the future leaders of this country, will not let America fail because you did not let America fail, because we stand upon your shoulders. As leaders of tomorrow, we resolve to build a country where they have our past and where they have our promise, that your legacy will not be lost upon us. We will not forget that freedom exacts a cost, sometimes a high cost, that leadership carries a burden, that we must stand up for what is right, even when it is not easy. We must never forget that as God, who has blessed this country, will be the source of our strength and success. As we sing our final song, please allow us to honor those of you who have served. Also, if you had a family member who has served, please stand when we sing the song of your branch of the military.
Hey!